keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like yo. What's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. Right today we have Chris Caveman's replica build, aka Caveman. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course subscribe and put your note again for my daily uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video. So, um, Chris Caveman, man. I mean, obviously a lot of people know about him. He's not. He was been a really good, I guess you can say, serviceable player um, in the NBA. Um, you know, not, not gonna say, you know, he had some great years. I wanna say great years, he had some good years, right? And um, so I think it's pretty dope to have him in the game, especially since his build is actually pretty decent. So, um, center right handed, number 35. Um, he's seven feet, 252 with a seven foot two wingspan. And in body shape, I went to find, but again, you can go any body shape that you desire, okay? Um, now what we're gonna do here is this, 83 on the close shot. That's as high as we can go, which again, is not the greatest, but it's also not the worst because I mean, at the same time, this is associated with your post hook. So yes, you would love to have a better post hook, but at the end of the day, you still have a decent amount of close shot just to finish around that basket. 78 on the driving layup. This is good and to the point that you will be able to get obviously the big man on um, the dominant big man layup package, which is really good for um, any type of center build. Driving dunk, we'll stop it at a 68. <clears throat> Again, I, when it comes to post scores, I don't really dwell on that um, because you're not really doing me dribbling, trying to get to momentum, you know, heading towards the basket and getting a driving dunk anyway. So I don't really care about the driving dunks. Standing dunk is actually insane. So you will be able to get the elite contact dunks with this one. And again, you'll get the rise up on gold. This is actually very important for a seven foot build. This is gonna be really, really strong. And then on the post scoring, a 78 on the post control. So you will get gold post bank technician, dream shake. And then again, as you see over here, drop step on gold with back down punisher on silver. These badges actually do matter. So with 21 total, you should be very, very comfortable getting the badges that you want because a lot of these badges you're not gonna try to need, you're not gonna need anyway for the type of build this is. Then on the mid-range is really good. So you get an 80 mid-range shot. So you're able to really post fade on this build, shooting the mid-range jump shots. There is really a lot of versatility with this build, if you think about it. Even when it comes to the 68 three ball, it's not the best, but you can still shoot it, right? But really, the build can work in the post, post fade, and it can shoot. And that's why I think any type of build that can do all three of those is going to be pretty important when it comes to playing in the rec, 2v2, 1v1, or whatever you name it. The free throw is a 90, which is absolutely insane. So again, yeah, if you're playing the record pro M, you should be 100% hitting shots there's no excuses there um pass accuracy is just a 60 and again i mean at the end of the day you know it's, it's not the best but you do get break starter on bronze that's something to keep in mind bronze break starter helps out a lot when doing outlet passing but again if you're playing in the park um then again that's not gonna really matter all right 60 on the ball handle and then you'll go just 51 on the speed with ball so you're not really worried like when post scores i don't really care about the playmaking as much unless it has the ability to get quick first step and move towards the basket but this is definitely a back to the basket type center build so you're gonna be holding a lot of r2 and l2 um and not be trying to face up anyway so regardless this is decent now the defense the interior defense is actually gonna be really good it's right there on the top 85 interior defense is where you want to be at you don't want to go no higher no lower this is a perfect sweet spot to be able to play that interior d and then of course 48 on the perimeter again we're not worrying about these attributes here as a center build um but then 78 on the block which is good enough to be able to get anchor and then chase down on gold right and then 81 on the offensive rebound and just 83 on the defensive so this kind of sucks because you're too off to be getting rebound chaser on silver but 81 a3 is not nothing to frown about you're still gonna be able to get the rebounds just get bronze rebounds chaser box out do what you're supposed to do and you shouldn't have you shouldn't see that much of a difference unless you're just playing against somebody that's just um you know a better player then of course you will definitely see the difference but for the most part to have the caveman build to see what it does offensively and to see how it is above the above average defensively this should be something fun to play with 
70 on the speed is nothing to frown about that's good to be able to run up and down the court 60 on the acceleration 90 strength is absolutely insane and believe it or not he has an 83 verb so that means you are able to get all the elite contact dunks standing big man contact dunks with this build so i think that's actually pretty dope and then of course we'll top it off with the 90 stamina so again you get pro and elite big man um contact dunks with this build 89 i mean 90 strength you get gold bully so it's something if you want to utilize but this is gonna be a good post scoring build and with the good shooting you should have a lot of fun with a build like this 21 16 6 and 21 is what we're looking at that's nothing to frown about you get post scoring take you get glass you get rim and you get sharp yes believe it or not you get sharp um so keep that in mind obviously i'm going pure post right here so i'm going with the advanced post moves um, which again makes it easier to beat defenders with post spins, um, fakes, drives, and clear outs. And then I went with post shot daggers, which gives a large to, um, boost to post hooks, fades, up and under, shimmies, and hop shots. So obviously, you can tell that I went there, but you can go any way you want to. I just treated this as a pure post score, okay? Um, and of course, and here you have it, my nephews and nieces. Again, like I said, really, really solid build, right? Really good name, and it's a post score. So if you like those type of things, definitely take this in consideration because. Again, as I say, as we're wrapping up this year, maybe you just want to have some fun with it, get a nice little replica name, and of course, Chris Kamen is one of those that you definitely should be able to have fun with. Um, so now what we'll do is this. We'll test this build out real quick, give the 99, of course, we'll then get you out of here, okay? So let's max this build out here. Um, now where we want to go here, <clears throat> back down Punisher is going to be the big one here. Obviously, we want to go post main technician. Um, oh, fearless finisher is another good one. So that's our 10 down here you have a lot that you will want to work with so we're core rise up um fast twitch um don't worry about masher but maybe you want to get bully you can double core if you're double coring then what you're able to do is double core rise up double core bully and then you can get fast twitch also so you'll be able to have all three of these down here and then you'll be able to have five left over and that's where you can go ahead and go with like with some drop stepper and then call it a day postman back down drop stepper bully fast twitch rise up with fearless finisher that's pretty good um here again we'll go green machine <clears throat> uh let's see we want to go blinders let's go space creator here that's 10 so then down here get that catch and shoot core catch and shoot come back up here definitely get the space creator for the fades and that mini position for also for the phase these are for the hop shot phase these are just for a normal phase so you want to have all those okay blinders is always going to be big for contested shots so i try to go there and then on the playmaking side just worry about coring vice grip get break starter with those three left over you probably want to go special delivery and then we can even go floor general so that's perfect don't worry about there defensively get your chase down um, box out come down here you got to get rebound chaser so core rebound chaser get your anchor now if you want to get brick wall to set screens you can do that um, but if you're going to be, you know, obviously the primary um, post score, you probably won't want to want that. Definitely go ahead and get your workhorse as high as you can. Um, and then after that, let's just go interceptor and glove to top it off. But yeah, so again, like I said, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Use your badge points. And if you can double core, I will focus on finishing for the most part, maybe on the shooting if you wanted to. But this is it. This is Chris Kamen's replica build. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. And of course, it's your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. You know, when I say back soon another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.